When I think of the Call of Duty franchise, I have a strange feeling about everything because I adored this franchise for so long. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 from Treyarch, some of my favorite games ever made. Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, phenomenal experiences. I just wish that the real Infinity Ward and Activision hadn't split. You know, obviously Activision fired the lead developers of Infinity Ward. They ended up going to form Respawn Entertainment and a lot of the Infinity Ward developers jumped ship. So the ones that made Call of Duty Ghost and Infinite Warfare and now making Modern Warfare aren't really the real Infinity Ward if you get what I'm trying to say. But anyway, my point with bringing up those Call of Duty experiences, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, could even bring up Call of Duty World at War. Years ago, Call of Duty was on top, about a decade ago. It seems like they just, it was hit after hit game, and since then it's really been a downward spiral, a really disappointing downward spiral. It seems like every year there's a catch, I've been calling out the practices with Black Ops 4, the loot boxes, the anti-consumer predatory practices that Activision has implemented into this game is horrific. And they're doing it because they know their casual audience just won't do anything. They won't leave the game, they're gonna keep on playing. It's different from Star Wars Battlefront 2 where there was a lot of outrage with Black Ops 4, even FIFA Ultimate Team experiences like that. It seems like the outrage just results to nothing because these developers, these companies know that nothing negative is gonna happen. Sure, there'll be some bad articles, some bad videos, some angry customers, but they'll be back and that's the unfortunate reality with the Call of Duty franchise. And that's why I am worried about Modern Warfare 4, because Activision openly admitted in their recent financial report that they are testing the waters right now with Black Ops 4, and they will continue that with Modern Warfare 4. Well anyway, today we got a huge chunk, and it's that Call of Duty 2020, the game coming after Modern Warfare 4, is just a gigantic mess right now, and Treyarch has actually taken over lead development of it, and it seems like they're going to be working on the multiplayer while Sledgehammer and Raven Soft software will be working on the single player which is said to be set in the Cold War which is actually something that I really wanted to see as a full Call of Duty release. I think a lot of us like these more historical Call of Duty games. I personally liked Call of Duty World War 2. Black Ops 1 is one of my favorite games of all time, my favorite Call of Duty release, and World at War was also a phenomenal experience. I think that the Cold War was something that the direction that I would like the Call of Duty franchise to go back to, but it seems like we've gotten all this futuristic stuff that I don't really care for. Anyway, this story broke just hours ago from Kotaku. They said next year's Call of Duty has gone through a major upheaval, this being Call of Duty 2020, not this year's Call of Duty, which surprisingly has not been revealed yet. We all know it's Modern Warfare 4. Uh, publisher Activision informed developers this week that studios Raven and Sledgehammer, which had until now led the project, will no longer be in charge. So yes, that three-year development cycle that's been going on for years, or the last, I think, six years, I, it may be no more based on what's going on. Anyway, as Kotaku Kotaku continues, instead, according to three people familiar with goings-on at the companies, Treyarch will lead development on a new Black Ops for 2020. So yes, Black Ops 5 is coming in 2020, and that scares me, but we'll get to that in a second, let's keep on going. This is a significant shift for Activision's massive first-person shooter franchise, which is one of the most lucrative video game series on the planet. Every fall for the past 15 years, Activision has put out a new Call of Duty game, supported by a stable of different developers who rotated duties as required. And Kotaku points out the three-year cycle. Obviously, in 2012, Treyarch did Call of Duty Black Ops 2, a game that everybody loved. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost in 2013. That was a little bit more of a mixed reception. I know some people really love that game, but it wasn't too hot when it came out in 2013. I think that's what I'm trying to say. In 2014, Advanced Warfare obviously introduced the loot boxes. Black Ops 3, another predatory anti-consumer experience. I've been uh, vocal about that one with the weapons and the loot boxes. 2016 was Infinite Warfare. 2017 was Call of Duty World War II. And 2018 was Black Ops 4. And this Call of Duty experience from Treyarch has been the greediest I've ever seen from Activision. They've had financial troubles, Activision, which makes sense that they're just doubling down on their cash cow, which is Call of Duty. Uh, we've been discussing for the last number of months all the crazy microtransactions, all the crazy decisions, all the lies that have been made. I said this earlier, but it's unfortunate that this has not gotten the publicity and the outrage that it truly deserves, which is why I am nervous about Call of Duty 2020, being how anti-consumer Treyarch has become over the years. And I say particularly them, because if you look at all the, th all the Call of Duty developers, 
Wars, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games, even Raven Software, who developed, I believe it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, Treyarch's been the most anti-consumer, which is concerning, but I don't know if we can blame them particularly, maybe this is all just on Activision. Anyway, continuing on, Kotaku also reveals that Raven Software had taken a leadership role alongside Sledgehammer to make this Call of Duty game set during the Cold War, likely involving Vietnam, but as of recently, that's changed, now Treyarch, based in Santa Monica, California, is in charge of leading Call of Duty Black Ops 5 for 2020. And this article is of course coming from Kotaku's Jason Schreier, and it seems like he has another article coming very soon about the development behind Black Ops 4. He states, Some of the companies say they're not pleased about that, being that they're working on Black Ops 5 and it's now coming in 2020, and are already bracing for brutal overtime hours like they faced last year on Black Ops 4, so we're probably going to be hearing about the crazy, chaotic development of Black Ops 4 because that game came out a little unfinished and there's a lot of rumors that emerged saying there was a single player campaign planned but then it got scrapped with the battle royale and i'm sure there's going to be a massive story behind just uh maybe an anthem like development with black ops 4. others have told kotaku they're excited about the change as they have a solid game plan that isn't likely to change drastically unlike their last two projects and as kotaku says they'll be covering the development of black ops 4 in the coming weeks now kotaku also reveals that activision executives are exploring the idea of a free-to-play model for modern warfare in some capacity as kotaku states in Internally, Activision executives have started to talk about embracing free-to-play as a revenue model, once anathema to the publisher, and three sources say are looking into offering a free-to-play component for this year's new Modern Warfare, although the specifics may not be finalized yet, some within Activision have remained resistant to that idea. Of course they are. Have we not seen the greed that this company has become? Giving anything away for free is something that they hate, and I'd argue that they are worse than Electronic Arts with their greed. Now. There is a big concern with this because I don't even know if that'll actually happen, but I am curious to see what they mean by that. What component would that be? Is there a battle royale planned? Do they mean this just for the multiplayer? It's going to be very interesting what specifically that we're talking about here. Because, I mean, in all honesty, the Call of Duty franchise, I don't see why, with all the microtransactions, all the season pass, all this crap, I don't even see why that this game, this franchise hasn't become free to play yet. It should be. And the rest of this Kotaku article points out how Sledgehammer Games has been kind of falling apart since Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield left the studio in February 2018. Obviously, Michael Condry's been actually outspoken about the greed that's been going on with Black Ops 4 lately, and he's now working with 2K Games in a new studio, which apparently a lot of Sledgehammer staff have jumped ship and gone to that studio and are working on some mysterious project. Kotaku does outline what specifically has been going on within the company, and what's actually happened with Call of Duty 2020, and why it's being shifted to Treyarch. One primary reason behind this Call of Duty upheaval, according to two people familiar with happenings at Activision, is the tension between Sledgehammer Sledgehammer and Raven, whose staff are said to have argued frequently during the past year of development on Call of Duty 2020. Two people familiar with the project described it as a mess, now both studios will serve as support for Treyarch as the publisher prepares to release Black Ops 5. Activision of course declined to comment. The thing is, Call of Duty 2020 is going to be a cross-generation game. We know it's probably going to be available on the PlayStation 5 and the two next-generation Xbox consoles, a part of the Xbox Scarlet project. And it's it's also going to be available on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. A lot of platforms, and they need to make sure that this game is right. And the fact that Activision Studios are crumbling right now is really concerning, and it makes me wonder what is the future of this franchise. Treyarch now is going from three years to two, and we already saw how unfinished and how rushed Black Ops 4 felt at launch, and then we've seen all the microtransactions and just the craziness that has been surrounding this game since its release, and it's not encouraging news for Black Ops 5. I know some people are jumping up and down, cool, Black Ops 5, but these Treyarch developers probably have been working their ass off, and now they're going to be working even harder, and I'm sure that this Black Ops 4 development report coming from Kotaku is going to say a lot about that. They're going to talk about the crunch that's probably been happening, and honestly, I really have no expectations for Call of Duty 2020. Personally, I think that Call of Duty 2019 is probably going to be embroiled with tons of micro
microtransactions. I'm sure the single player campaign should be solid. Infinite Warfare even from the new Infinity Ward was pretty solid. But with Modern Warfare 4's multiplayer, I think it's just important to remember Activision's financial troubles in 2019. Obviously earlier this year, they laid off 800 employees and they need Call of Duty 2019 to be huge. So I just don't put it past them to implement tons of greedy predatory microtransactions and they know their audience. It's casual and they know that they can get away with their BS unfortunately. With Black Ops 5, I right now think it's just going to be a lot like Black Ops 4.5. I remember years ago people were making fun of Modern Warfare 3 calling it Modern Warfare 2.5 and that really happened because of the fact that they weren't given a lot of development time Sledgehammer games. I believe they had a year and a half to make a Call of Duty game and they did a pretty good job. But I think that Black Ops 5 is going to have a lot of reused assets from Black Ops 4 and I know some people may not like that but this is what happens when a company should just let their developers have an extra year, take a year off, but that's not what Activision's business is like right now. They need Call of Duty 2019 to be huge, they probably need Call of Duty 2020 to be huge, and that's what happens when a company like Activision relies on one IP. So yeah, my honest opinion of this news about Call of Duty 2020 is that the quality of Black Ops 5 may be a little hurt because of the fact that they're going to be rushing to a finish line, which is probably going to be November 2020. Today, Activision stock has fallen a little bit, and I do wonder if Modern Warfare 4 is not a hit game and Black Ops 5 does turn out to be a mess, what does this mean for Call of Duty in the future? Of course, for years, people have been predicting and claiming the death of Call of Duty, but right now, it does certainly appear that the pressure is on these Activision vision owned developers to deliver and if they don't well there's an uncertain future ahead but anyway what do you guys and gals make of the news from kotaku that call of duty 2020 is a mess let me know your thoughts down the comment section below but thank you for watching make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value and make sure to follow my other social media accounts for updates on new videos links are always down in the description below i'm most active on twitter giving opinions on news that i do not always get into video form so make sure to follow me over there also check out my discord for all sorts of discussion on games and again thank you for joining consider subscribing for more videos like this and i'll see you later